Hey guys, what's up? In this video, we'll be seeing a few more tricks that can be performed using your Linux terminal. So let's get started. First of all, I will show you how to download a file from a given link uh, using your Linux terminal. For that, you need to use the command called wget and it followed by the link from which you can you have to download the file. So I'll be using a sample link in this tutorial purpose. So I'll be downloading a small image. then press enter it will be fetching the file for you and it will be showing the progress on the uh, terminal and you can see the file is downloaded over here now i'm moving on to the next trick i'll show you how to encrypt a file using your linux terminal okay i have a file called secure on my desktop so you can uh, encrypt it using your aes encryption just by typing in sudo gpg gpg is the command used for encryption followed by minus c and followed by the file name you want to encrypt and for here secure and press enter now it will be asking for you for the passphrase passphrase is nothing which is that we used for use for encryption that is a key that is used while encryption so that no one else can decrypt it so i'll be giving it and just repeat it Okay, now you can see a new file secure.gpg is created on my desktop. This is nothing but the encrypted version of this file. You can see, it, try reading it, you cannot read it, basically it's completely encrypted. Okay, now I'll be deleting it and now I can decrypt it by typing in sudo space gpg followed just type the file name, file to be decrypted, secure.jpg. Okay, it will be asking you for the passphrase that you entered while the creation or encryption of the file. So just type in the passphrase. Yes, it's done. You can see the file is decrypted. Now, um, let me clear the screen. And in order to run any process from your Linux terminal, you just need to type its name. For example, I can open the editor just by typing in gedit. But the problem is, as far as I am using the gedit, I cannot use this terminal for any other purpose. Okay, uh, only way to use it just by closing it and continue using the terminal. But you can resolve this issue just by running this process in background. That can be easily done just by typing in gedit followed by a space and followed by an ampersand symbol and press enter. You can see the gedit is open, still I can continue using my Linux terminal okay without closing it keep in mind if you are closing this terminal window this application would be terminated and moving on to the next trick is to compare two files side to side on your linux terminal i have two files over here one is file.txt and another, another one is the file2.txt you can compare it side to side just by using the command sdiff followed by the name of the file uh, first file and followed then the name of the file to be compared that is the second file press enter you can see the content of first file over here and on the other side you can see the content of the second file okay it's just a line by line comparison that's all and moving on to the last trick you can create a new user for your computer using your linux terminal for this i'll be creating I need to log in as the root user so I'll be logging in as the root user now I'm the root user I can create delete change passwords of any users I want so use the command add user uh, followed by the name of the user new user let it be new user pressing enter it will be asking you for some informations for example the password I retype the password and full name and room number, work phone, work phone, home, work, home phone, other details. Okay, I'll leave it blank just by pressing enter. Is the information correct? Yes. Okay, the user is created. Now you can see the new user over here. Okay. Uh, for some Linux distros, this add user won't be working. Instead, you will have to use user add. The problem with the user add is that it won't be creating the home directory uh, for the new user separately you will have to do it up by on your own and uh, it won't be asking you for such details for example we'll try creating a new user too 
um, you need to use the minus option M to create a home directory and press enter. You can see it did not ask you for anything. Um, it did not ask you for the full name, it did not ask you for the um, password, etc. You can set the password just by typing in PSSWD followed by the new username, user2. Otherwise, you won't be able to log in uh, to that new user. Okay, you can see the new user2 is created over here. And you will have to set up everything manually except the home directory will be created because of this minus m option okay and you can similarly delete any user from your linux terminal just by using the command del user followed by the username for example new user 2 you can see the new user 2 is gone from here and also you can use the new user remove the new user yes it's done the only problem is you need to log in as a root user first for doing the operations. So, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you.